Spotfire as a BI organization. We term Spotfire as a business intelligence tool. Okay. So for any organization, business intelligence plays a very important role. It enables uh, company's own data to be completely utilized for its own benefit so that uh, it can stay in the competition from its uh, competitors and also it enables uh, an organization, business intelligence in particular enables an organization to grow in future, to expand itself, okay, allowing the organization process to make uh, wise decisions and the predict future challenges they're going to face. So this is how we define BI, a business intelligence uh, for any organization. Fine. So keeping this business definition apart, if we have to technically drive a business intelligence. So business intelligence uh, is nothing but uh, we gather data in the different forms within an organization or if it has to be outside of the organization, irrespective of whatever the form the data is in. When I say uh, the different forms of data, it can be can be there in as, as simple as in a text file or an Excel file to as complex as a SAP system and ERP system. So irrespective of where the data is, we gather all this data of an organization and then we take that into in a single place, a single place, a single source of truth to create a single source of truth. So this single place can be termed as a data warehouse or a data mart or a various operational data center or a data, a data center simply. So here, while uh, migrating this data, the integration services, the integration services vertical of BA business intelligence, the first part comes into play. The integration services enable us to gather this data and put it into one place. Okay, fine. So once we have data here, the next vertical of the VA starts, that is reporting this data, making it useful for the client. So here we have various uh, methods and technologies uh, which we can leverage to get the best visualization, the best representation of the data. So this is a reporting session of uh, reporting part of business intelligence. So once we have reports in place and uh, data can be analyzed or viewed by the client, then the next advanced part of business intelligence that is analysis. So stuff like uh, mining data and then uh, aggregating data into OLAPIC loops, cubes or uh, aggregation tables. Then with this we go to the next level of uh, cleansing data and then uh, getting the patterns out of data. So this is analysis services. Now where does, uh, th these are the three, so to put it into one line, are they, so these are the three components of a business, uh, namely uh, integration services, reporting services and uh, analysis services. Where does uh, Spotfire uh, fit into these three? So Spotfire is a, Spotfire fits into this reporting vertical, it's a reporting tool. But uh, can we call Spotfire as just a reporting tool like uh, SSRS? SSRS is a uh, reporting tool from MSBI, Microsoft Business Intelligence. And uh, the other uh, similar tool we have here is MicroStrategy, which is also a reporting tool from MicroStrategy organization. Okay. So can we call Spotfire as just a reporting tool like this SSRS and MicroStrategy? No. So the answer is definitely no. Spotfire is just not a reporting tool. It is uh, more than that. So if you have to define a Spotfire, so the, my best definition would be Spotfire is a statistical tool with analytical capabilities built on in-memory engine, built with the in-memory architecture. Okay, uh, so Spotfire as a startup, it was uh, developed on Linux platforms and uh, so you see Iron Python there. Okay, but after once the Tipco has taken it over, it has integrated with the .NET API application user interface. Now Spotfire runs only on .NET framework. Okay, when I now when I say it runs only on dot, .NET uh, framework, there uh, we are setting a limitation. It is not cross-platform. Why? Because .NET is run by only Windows OS. So the limitation. Spotify runs only on Windows operating systems. So if we have .NET on Linux systems like Mono.NET, uh, we can make Spotify run on Linux systems also, but more precisely on Windows operating systems, mainly Windows server operating systems, okay, is because of the limitation of the .NET framework. It's not the tool limitation, by the way, remember Spotify was originally developed on Linux systems, okay. .NET uh, 
so now that now uh, that it runs on .NET framework, any language or API which uh, .NET supports is directly supported by Spotify too. Okay, by keeping it on .NET texture, it didn't sacrifice the basic uh, scripting capabilities it had, the Spotify had, which is uh, Python. It is still there. So programmers of Iron Python can still script on uh, Spotify. But how important is it uh, scripting it on Iron Python and uh, .NET languages? Very rarely you will come to situations where you have to do these very advanced uh, scenarios. But, but most of the reporting needs, uh, uh, end user reporting needs are satisfied uh, by the tool itself. The other uh, limitation we have on the spot fire is uh, at the time of inflation or to work with spot fire we have to have an RDBMS. At the moment only two RDBMS are allowed. One is the SQL server, other is the Oracle. So don't get confused this with the RDBMS support of uh, Spotfire. Spotfire supports almost all RDBMS. But is this, is this not conflicting? Yeah. So at the time of installation, there is something called report database. So Spotfire also has to show store some of its configurations on the database. Okay. Uh, configurations like maybe as basic as the server IP and then the training credentials. So that once left like uh, the visualization definitions to create on the spot uh, reports. So all this has to be stored which is called the report configuration data. So for this it needs a database for itself. There we have a limitation. It, will, it can use either Oracle or SQL server. So once we have that in place it can use data from any RDBMS, MySQL, Port 3, or DB2, or Teradata. Not only RDBMS, almost all kind of files, uh, SAP, e, uh, not only ERPs, and also big, uh, big data tools also. This has a new feature now embedded in, in, into Spotify. So if I have to tell you simply, those are system requirements. System requirements are pointed here. So Spotfire is uh, divided into three units. The whole Spotfire is divided into three units. Spotfire professional, the player, server. So professional is a thing which we will be working more throughout our development or throughout our training. Professional is a very important part of Spotfire. It's like heart, heart of Spotfire. This is where we do uh, designing, developing, visualizing, conceptualizing all the business uh, requirements we have and then uh, represent it to the end user. So this is uh, in development terminology it is called IDE uh, just like the Visual Studio or uh, Eclipse, Eclipse Peer. This is, uh, to, uh, this is not something which will give to end user. This will be there with the developer or administrator. The next thing is the player. The player, we can work without the player too, but the point is we can't show anything to the user. Whatever we develop, we have to keep it for ourselves if we have only this professional. So the player will allow us to show visualizations we have developed to end user. So this is put on a server and installed uh, with the help of IIS. Internet Information Server. You guys which are familiar with uh, Windows OS will understand. Uh, Internet Information Services, if you don't understand also not a problem. It is a web server like Tomcat, Apache Tomcat. Uh, so this helps to uh, show, render, render uh, our visualizations in HTML format on the browsers so that uh, end user can see our visualizations. So the third component, so uh, the player is very light and uh, very simple to install and very easy to configure. The, uh, the third thing, the uh, heaviest part and uh, mo mostly administratable part is the server uh, which doesn't have any UI, uh, which doesn't uh, need any development on it. Uh, so this is 
hosted. This is this is used to host uh, visualizations we have developed to professional. Is professional linked to server? Yes, only till the time we deploy the developed tools into server. Once we deploy from professional to server, the link between professional and server is gone. Okay, so once the development is over, professional is out of picture. As much as out of it is, we can actually uninstall this and we can still live with. Server and web player are tightly coupled. Without web player, server is nothing. With only just web player, server uh, we can't do without server. So these two, once we develop and deploy into server, then we view them in the web player. We can have all three in one server or we can have them in three separate servers. There is no limitation. Okay, we can have uh, on one box a professional and other box a player, and in the third box server. And all three can communicate very easily uh, with the IP and port numbers. Okay, and again I mean say uh, I am uh, uh, reinforcing. Don't get confused. Uh, here uh, the system requirements or SQL or SQL server I have written is only at the time of installation. Once we install the uh, spot file, we can't install it or this to RDBMS, okay? any of that. Once we have, then we have uh, uh, its support to almost every existing data point at the moment. And uh, yeah, so professional is also used by administrators, spot file administrators. For spot file administrators, but professional plays a very important role. Okay, so not only development, uh, here we can uh, administrate as basic as uh, setting up users and giving them accesses uh, to advanced stuff like automating things and uh, enabling script functionalities, setting up API references. Everything can be done with professional. So whatever uh, the development of the administration happens, happens mainly through professional. Okay. That doesn't mean that uh, no administration happens on web player and server. There too it happens and there are sub there are separate uh, windows, uh, UIs for both the uh, player and servers through which we can do the administration. But development, no. All the development happens only on professional. Okay, so that is uh, more precisely on the technicalities of uh, Spotify.